Do y'all watch Disney movies, Pixar, any of that? Sometimes. No? Have y'all seen a lot of them? Would you? What's, what's, what's okay, so my question, movie? my question is, who was the best villain oh. of the Disney movie, you Disney like Pixar movies? I love this question. Uh -huh. <laughs> because um, more recently, I think my kids, they were going back and we were watching um, Toy Story 3. Mm -hmm. I think it was 3. Lotso, the bear. I think he was the best villain, like, don't ever. That joint. Don't you don't remember, remember that Toy one? Story 3. Oh, man. Yeah. You know why you don't remember it? No. Because he wasn't the best villain. He was. You would have remembered it if he was. <laughs> I'm going to tell you who y'all both remember. Y'all remember the, the, the neighbor's kids That's because scene they haven't seen part three. That though. was tearing up in the very first Toy Story. Y'all no. remember him? That was taking toys apart and putting yeah, them together yeah, on yeah. the other toy's body. He was a sick little kid. Oh, oh yeah, I do remember him. You know why? Because he was a better villain than They Lotso. haven't seen part three. I saw part three. I saw all four. You know, you know what happened, though. Know. You, would know you know who else was the, who was the ultimate villain of all villains in that realm? From The Incredibles. The very first bad guy no, in that movie. Not. What was that? Was the, the one that he shunned as a kid. What was his name? Sid or something? Uh, he go home, Sid. Uh, he ended up coming back as Syndrome yeah, yeah, or something, yeah, right? Yeah, I don't remember that either. You know what he did? You guys don't watch I saw it, though. He literally he went around and hunted down and all the, all all the, the super all villains, the super superheroes, <coughs> and killed them. Wow. I still don't remember. I'm going to tell, tell you who's better than him. He said, wow. I'm going to tell you who's better than him. And he's clearly the best supervillain because they made a movie in a way that we would be rooting for him. That's not in the same room. Mega Mind. Ooh. No, he wasn't a villain. Well, he wasn't Absolutely really a villain. He was a villain. He wasn't a villain, no, he was a villain, though. a good guy. What are you talking about? He was just misunderstood. He was a villain. He was, was a, absolutely a villain, he was though. He, he just wanted he wanted to be the hero. That's the only reason he was a villain. Yeah. Oh, the motive doesn't matter. It because does. A lot though. of these other villains have motives. That's that, true, because yeah. Sid wanted to be a hero, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of times, a lot of it is about what you don't lot, have, and then he's like, oh. It's just mean and cruel. Because of what he didn't have. Hey, right. the, the Joker. And the he, Joker had a good. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Joker had a good. Uh, I don't even know who Lotso is. It's all all the villains' origin stories yeah. come from trauma. Yeah, that's all it is. Hey. It is hurt people. Hey. Hurt people. Uh, uh, um, Thanos had. He thought that he his vision I don't was know the Thanos greatest. Is the yeah. Thanos probably the, one of the greater villains of all times of all because time. his didn't come from trauma. No. He was actually he was like, actually, hey, this the I'm just way. trying to he wasn't really a villain. help the universe. He, he thought he was trying to help. Yes. Yeah, that's that's no, no. So I never you can't said use Thanos motive. Is all my, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> I never said Thanos was a villain. I'm just using action. He killed more people but than Thanos. Marvel, so we can't, that's Marvel. We can't bring him. I know, right? That's not what I was talking Dude, about. Sid, the kid no. Sid. He killed people. He was a disturbed <laughs> kid. I'm talking about an actual... Stuffed animal. He was meant to be good. Sid was never meant to be good. You know who else was never meant to be good? Was that chick named that went after that uh, that professional player's money? Oh yeah, I don't know her name. He was Man, a soccer he player. Was he a soccer player? Oh, yeah. and they found out all his money is in Bruh. his mother's name. Yeah. We just had the joint. The one that found oh, out right here. All the money's in the mother's name. Oh, he played for Paris Saint Germain. Oh, he okay. So yeah, PSG star Akra Akraf Hakimi, his wife filed for divorce and wanted more than half of mm -hmm. the Moroccan footballer's property and fortune. When they arrived in court, they realized that he had nothing. He had put his entire fortune under his mother's name a long time ago. How dumb does she look now? Wow. She don't. I mean, she. <coughs> I told you it'd be women who be plotting. What they got to what? What she look like though? <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. She look like you. There be women out here who be plotting, man. I mean, that's everybody. I mean, yeah, it be sisters out here plotting too. It be women out I'm here. I'm talking about general. Yeah. Oh. More so, it be women, women than men, in terms of facts. Plotting. Facts. Because just just the oh, nature. Hold on, hear me out. Just the nature of the speech. I think now it's a lot of men that's like see a lot of women in power and be plotting because of that now. They be like, shit, I'm about to slide. Yes. Uh, nah, I'm about to Certain be. Certain type of men. Yes. Certain, yeah. And Certain that men. number of, Certain that type of, of men is rising, is what I'm saying. Probably so. It's not rising. It's just an opportunity for them 
that they didn't have before. Oh, it's a lot of opportunists out here. Yeah, I agree with that. You know what I'm saying? That's like, man, I'll go ahead and be, yeah. you know, you know, whatever to her yeah. just to get up in this bread. Yeah, yeah <laughs> there was a whole documentary on Netflix about this guy overseas and he was oh, yeah, a scammer. Really and he scary. literally used one woman's, this woman's money to to scam the next, next woman. woman. Yes. City boys. <laughs> City boys, we up, baby. <laughs> he literally. We up off of uh, this football situation right here because she thought she had one. I wonder yeah. um, what made him do that. Like, he must he, he must have knew. known. I mean, you know what I'm knew. saying? Like, he must have known from. It has happened so often. He probably was like, it ain't going to be me. Was that the. Was oh, that, my stuff did, in my mother, man. Like the chick who, uh, <laughs> I mean, because she he going to inherit it anyway. Put his number in her phone, and she and the, and the nigga never put his number the whole time. Oh, he, he was he cash went, himself. He went to his, he went to her cash app and cash app himself. Oh, the cash app a thousand, died. a thousand. That stabbed to death. Yeah. Oh, he did. He was the a, cash Robert. What's his name? Lee something. Yeah, on the same day that they rolled out the fed now. Now. Yeah, what he's, you mean the cash app died? What do you mean the cash app He was stabbed well, you know, to death. He's, he's yeah, one of the several. He was the guy who invented. The inventor of cash he's one of the yeah. several several digital um, really? currency yeah, guys. Yeah, seriously. That's been that's just died randomly. That's yeah. not random though. That's no, he random, was stabbed. Like, being stabbed. <coughs> is random. Uh, several uh, crypto dudes. He's one of them. Yeah, I heard about. There's about the four or five of them crypto, crypto billionaires that just. Popped up there. One of them was going through the point where he was like, "Yo, the CIA and the Mossad is trying to get me." He yeah. tweeted that joint out, and they still got him. And they still <laughs> got him. And then they was like, "Oh, he has he was suffering from mental illness." Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. we all it's we sad. all know about that. I mean, Cash App founder that founder rug was Bob Lee and everything was swept under. Cash App founder Bob Lee fatally stabbed in San Francisco. No arrests have been made. They arrested the dude now. Oh, okay. You know what's crazy though is San Francisco is super duper yeah violent now, and the crime is just becoming really, more. Yeah, hey, what's up with risen. them uh, doing this little reparations thing? Like they give right. NAACP blocked it though. The NAACP blocked it. Yeah, yeah. What wait, 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 wait! Say that one more time. The NAACP block. So what was the original thing? San Fr- Every black person in San Francisco was going to get five million dollars, or or five many million? or shows lineage to the that San shows Francisco lineage area. To, to to slavery being yeah. slavery. even if they didn't live there still currently. Yeah. They NAACP were, is probably gonna say they blocked it because a white person could technically I'm trying try to, to get in line with. Nah, that. I'm trying. To, let me pull that joint up. Let me find. Like out. I would need to know NAACP's reason. No, nah, that to block NAACP it. Right, um, because people really block, that block things and. It sounds bad when you hear about it, but then you read in more into and the like you field, find out. Oh, they actually like, did something good. Oh, nah. it wasn't that yeah. bad. Right. I need so, to know. But it looks like NAACP it opposes look- cash payments in San Francisco. Why? A city appointed. Uh, where is this? Uh, a city appointed Nobody's committee. Nobody's going to report on why. Proposed, the committee also proposed an elimination of personal debt. Uh, but while it appeared to the movement was gaining momentum, the NAACP San Francisco branch tweeted a statement on Tuesday bashing the reparations proposal. Instead, NAACP San Francisco branch offered its own reparations proposal that it does not include cash payments. But we why strongly believe that payments? creating and funding programs that can improve the lives of those who have been impacted by racism and discrimination is the best path forward toward equality and justice. San Francisco NAACP President Amos Brown said in a statement posted on Twitter. The statement specifically called on the Board of Supervisors to reject a one-time $5 million reparation payment to blacks. Why would you do that? That's what I want to know. Why, yeah, he why? just said he, he, he prefer them fund programs instead of giving money directly to black people. Oh. Like, don't give it to each person. Because I guess what we they're We got these arguing, organizations to help them. Yeah. Oh, that, they're I saying they trust organizations over individuals. That's not a good idea either. Because basically they're saying, I'd rather pay the guys that have proven that they can be great capitalists. And or or we can capitalize off of this through these organizations and not. But look yes. who, just everybody Google who the NAACP was founded by. Oh, we, I, I, we, already, we already know you're great. 
<laughs> we already know your crap. Look at who the NWHP is trying to buy. <laughs> what, you, what you got going on over there? <laughs> oh. And that should tell you every reason why they was like, nah, we ain't giving no black people $5 million, y'all. There you have it, y'all. It's some NAACP ain't, um... I found out NAACP was shady as shit. CP. When, um... When they was doing, um, it was this movie called My Alpha 21. It was talking about how abortion clinics targeted black communities. And like Martin Luther King niece was like, yo, NAACP, slide through, help us out. We got to put a stop to this. NAACP was like, it disappeared on them niggas, man. It was like, yeah, we not participating in anything <laughs> yeah, that I'm you got to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They hit the motherfucker. Block button on. They they became made to tumble all her proposals, dog. No, no, no. That's why I was like, hold up. Now I looked at who this gentleman was funded, who was founded by. It's like three or four white people, dog. I'm like, man. There you have it. And How can you trust it? NAACP. It was white, it was four white dudes or three white people, and W. E. B. Du Bois. They was pretty much created during the same time when uh, Marcus Garvey was doing his thing. So they was pretty much, you know, put to yeah, to to be the other side of the coin for Marcus Garvey. Yep. It's history in a nutshell. The yeah. history of a minute. What America. about Oh no, that's not Disney. <laughs> He's still trying to get a villain. <laughs> that ain't Disney. <laughs> Why I gotta be Disney though? Disney well, because it's Pixar. a cartoon. Because you got to cut it off. Cartoon. They got other Jones. They got Illumination. Cartoon. They got a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, so what is Illumination? That's Minions and the Minions. Yeah. Mm. That's Pixar, really right? They're not villains. They're not they're they were well, just misunderstood people. No, they were, no. Gru was definitely a villain. He was the villain. Yeah. But he was. But we can't turned into a hero. At some point, though, Justin. You can't just put. I need a hero. They could be all cartoons, though. Children, children cartoons. But everything has been made into a cartoon, so. Not everything. 